This SHOT Show 2023 coverage is sponsored by Body Arm Event, Night Vision Inc., PTS, and Phalanx Arms. Links will be in the description. What is up, YouTube? My name is David Lee, and you're watching Asian with Hat. And I got Nathan Rollins at Spirited Systems. How you doing? Doing good. All right, so we got some new products for SHOT Show 2023, right? Yes. Awesome. So uh, let's start with some of the stuff on the table, and we'll work towards the mannequin. Of course. All right, so uh, right off the bat, we're extending our colorway options. We had some things that we were limited on due to materials. So now, as we roll out over the course of the year and going forward, we're going to be offering woodland, multicam, arid, and multicam tropic. So the people that were looking for those products, they couldn't get them in that specific camo. That's going to be available to people. Uh, going over here, new fanny sacks, larger than our previous offering. So the fanny sack XL and then the brunch box. So, I'm going to be realistic. I love fanny packs over here because yeah. no one really innovates a lot with fanny packs to be real uh, to be real here. And I'm glad to see like more people try and push the envelope on fanny packs. Yeah, no, we're definitely, it's a very popular product for us and we wanted to just improve on it in any way we could. Um, so rolling into the brunch box specifically, since it's going to have most of the differential features. So on the back here, you're going to have the option to either run this chest rig or plate carrier mounted or alternatively around your waist with the waist strap. It's gonna have a removable waist strap in case you know that's the direction you wanna go. Uh, it's gonna have these loops on here, elastic for your charges and other items that you wanna store that way. And then on the back, it's going to have elastic Velcro loop, which is a new material that we're working with. I'm actually really excited to see the feedback that we're gonna be getting on this. Then, yeah, just getting into that and then the other fanny sack as well. Both are just going to have that Velcro lining, the traditional, what people have kind of come to expect from us in terms of uh, product design. Rolling. Very awesome. Yeah. Rolling light along here, we have the muff. This is going to be our new hand warmer design. So just like the brunch box here, you're going to have that option to either hang off of your carrier slash chest rig or alternatively to run around your waist. The Velcro on it as well is going to offer an extra level of rigidity. We were seeing a problem with some other uh, hand warmers where they kind of crumple up when you try to put your hands in. The extra rigidity kind of mitigates that. And then you're going to have this front pocket on here for hand warmers, Skittles, you know, whatever you want to throw in there. I'll definitely say I've had experience in the past, not from your brand, with like some different um, hand warmers where if I try to push it in, it would collapse on its own and it just makes it more cumbersome and makes you waste a lot of time to do that. So. Good idea on that, for sure. Yeah. M81 is going to be an exclusive through Warm Fuzzy, since he was the guy that kind of helped us bring this to life. And then all other colorways will be available through us. Very awesome. Yeah. Okay, so I see that you have a very assorted medical setup over here, right? Yes, yes we do. So this is going to be the Delta bag. This is going to be coming out here in the next few months. Starting from the external, we're going to have three major pockets right here. Each one is going to open from the center, and then it's going to have a Velcro lining for when you want to attach when you want to attach any kind of dividers, organizers. Customize anything, right? Exactly. That's what we were looking for. Pretty much for. the motto of Spiritus. Yes. Have it your way, Burger King. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to have those three. You're going to have Velcro fields for either patches or IR, any kind of visibility marking. On the side here, you're gonna have laser cut molly and also lash points for doing tourniquets and other, other pouches. On the top, you're gonna to have lash points for medical shears and for a chem light in case you wanna have the bag just be a little bit more visible. Back of the bag here, we have two flat pack zipper pouches for chest seals or other items of similar dimension. I'm pretty sure this is the, one of the only companies that actually do that and it's actually thinking out of the box, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all of this kind of came about from an 18 Delta that we work closely with. All of his feedback is kind of what brought this about. The philosophy really was that the person that carries this bag is probably taking care of 10 to 12 guys and trying to stabilize until you get to a higher level of care. Absolutely, and I like the fact that this opens like a book. Yes. Because um, I had an idea when I was talking to other manufacturers way back in the day, but it never conceptualized. But I'm glad to see that people actually try to make this idea too. Yeah. Um, so just real quick while we actually have the bag open. So we have these handles right here 
And then you also kind of saw with how the zipper pockets open. All of this was very intentionally done to make sure that the contents of the bag isn't going to yard sale out if you have to pick this up and move, or just in general, really, because like with the M9 bag, for instance, contents just comes out of it when you open it up. So and I do like the fact that over here, this is actually a carry handle too, like you were talking about. Yeah, and then there's also another carry handle up top there as well. Definitely something that, you know, me having a camera bag back in, the, or you know, for what I do, mm -hmm. I like having as much handles as I can. Not that I'm a medic, but I would definitely say that more opportunities to actually grab it by different areas is actually a good thing in my opinion too, and I, I like that idea too. Of course, of course. Um, so getting into the actual bag itself, so what we're going to have here is we're going to have these large Velcro fields going down each side of the bag. This is going to be so you can mount all of your panels and just customize this as much as you could possibly want. Go ahead and kind of show that's what the actual base material is going to look like. We're going to also have these little lash points for uh, pulse ox or other things that you don't want to lose. You have those little tie downs more lash points along the inside of the spine for additional items. And so we also have these hangers right here. This is so if you want to set the bag up somewhere and just have it open, have it accessible, everything like that. And just one last thing here. So the bag is going to come with these shoulder straps. We opted for a more of a minimal design just because of feedback we had gotten. The chunky shoulder straps in conjunction with a plate carrier make it difficult to actually shoulder, shoulder a weapon. So this More cumbersome. Exactly. So this is what we went for. They're also removable in the case that you want to go a different route. You have your own straps or you just want to, you know, direct mount this to a plate carrier or something like that. Makes sense. Totally makes sense. And like he was talking about, just make it more simple because, I mean, again, I'm not a medic. I'm not a combat person and all that. But, you know, being that I've done BB Wars, grabbing any three-day pack that has all that padding is cumbersome. So I, I like the idea that you guys uh, went with that for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, one quick. last item over here on the table real quick. Uh, pistol magazine pouch that's going to be coming from us. We opt just a really simplistic design, open top for your faster reloads and whatnot. You're going to have laser cut on the back for either belt mount or molly mount. Going to be secured by one wrap. You're going to have these loops on the top here. These are going to be for shock cord. You just want that extra little level of retention. The inside is going to be this hank material that kind of really grabs at whatever you throw in there. And then elastic on the sides just for conformity. This will hold double stack and single stack magazines. So if you have, say, if you have like those 1911 magazines, um, it will come with an elastic loop that you put on over the top, and that's going to be what kind of clamps it down and gives you that extra level of retention. All right, Nathan, we're at the mannequins over here. So what do you got over with this stuff? So right off the bat, we have the magic stick. This is going to be our molly mounted charge pouch. And this is just something a little bit more hyper specific but there are people out there that need to be able to carry these this style of charges. You're going to have shock cord looping to, for extra retention, drain out the bottom so it won't collect moisture, all key things that are very important. Made out of laser cut laminates. Um, fairly simplistic, what you see is what you get here. Molly's straight on. Uh, shifting gears a little bit. So we have our butt pack. We released our split rig a little while ago, and this is going to be what turns your chest rig into a actual belt kit. So you'll get these straps that come with it that form this uh, four-point harness. It's going to be a roll top design here, as you can see. This is what is going to be very beneficial for when you need to really load this guy down. It's actually going to carry the load a lot better than, say, with a traditional flap design. On the sides here, we're going to have two rows of molly for mounting additional sustainment pouches. And then on the back as well, it's going to be molly mountable in case you already have your own belt kit and you want to run this on something else. And the great thing about this is, is that you'll be able to take this and go back and forth between a belt kit or a chest rig. People like to have that option, hypothetically, right? You have your rucksack on, you have your butt pack in there, chest rig set up. You get to where you want to get to to set up your fire base, you drop ruck, you pull out your butt pack, you set up your kit, go do your reconnaissance or go do your assault, come back to your fire base, convert back into a chest rig, go on your merry way. Very awesome. Yeah. Is there anything else uh, here at Shot Show 2023 for Spiritus? Uh, no, that's it. Very awesome. Nathan, thank you very much for uh, taking your time out of uh, your day for uh, the interview. Of course. Thank you for coming. All right. Well, this is David Lee from Asian with Hat. Stay tuned for more content at Shot Show 2023.